It is so nice watching the dark of night change to the light of day every morning. Just keeps me in touch with the earth in such a way that I haven't felt until I started doing this diet and taking these walks. Even a better way of putting it would be tuning into the frequency of God's creation and thoroughly enjoying with your emotions what you can take in when you're on that frequency and attenuating the noise that comes from man's creation. Yeah, I'm two thirds of the way into my walk and the sun hasn't come up yet. We still got about 10 minutes till sunrise. If you've had one of those days where you just don't feel like getting up and getting it done, and I've had many of those, but today was, ooh, today it was trying to sink its teeth in. Let me tell you, I woke up this morning and that spot where I had my surgery done right over my belly button was hurting again. And it, it presses that button inside of me that says, don't get out of bed, just stay here. Just stay here, you don't need to get up and do nothing. There's nothing out there worth doing. It's all this negative emotion comes right from that area. Something I've come to learn is it doesn't matter what my feelings are, what my body says that's whiny or complaining or anything that's gonna stop me from doing what I know I need to do. And that's, that's just to tell that voice, shut up. I don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna hear it from you this morning. We're gonna get out there and you know what? I'm gonna work harder this morning than I usually do. Just because you wanna be complaining like that. That's just, you gotta do that, man. You gotta be able to tell that, that voice that wants to be a wimp, that voice that wants to puss out on you today. You just gotta tell it no. And you gotta make it suffer for even bringing it up as far as I'm concerned. This is what you get. Now we got to do it longer. We got to do it harder. So today I did my my push-ups in three supersets, and I was pushing to do more each time. The point is, is I had to tell my body, you're not gonna pull this off. You're not gonna get away with this. It's like getting on to one of my kids for being lazy. I gotta tell myself, get up and stop being a wimp. Get up and do what you gotta do. We're gonna make this happen this morning. So I got all those push-ups done. And then I moved on and every other day I've been doing this now where I do some pull-ups and some curls along with it so I can really kind of do the opposite direction of what push-ups do. I went ahead and did some supersets on that too. I started off with as many pull-ups as I could do and then pushed right over to the curls doing 35 pounds instead of the 25 I usually start with. And I pushed out as many as I could do then immediately after doing pull-ups. I went right back after that to the pull-up bar Knocked out a few more, went right back to the curls. Knocked out as many as I could. And then I did another a short break. And then after that I was, I hit the pull up bar one more time and hit the curls one more time. I stuck with only the heavy weights today because I was upset. I wanted to be able to tell myself, no, you're not getting away with this. You're gonna do it the hard way now. And then when I didn't feel like going for my walk, I said, we're going for that walk. We're gonna make it happen today and we're gonna start a mile in the other direction just to make sure, a mile and a half actually, just to make sure we get a good walk in. So I'm wrapping up a fourth mile here and that's what you gotta do. I feel much better than I woke up this morning. When I woke up this morning, it could have been a bad day, but getting out here and make this happen, pushing through, telling that little wimp inside of me, you ain't getting your way today. And now I can go take on the day. So if you haven't done it today, you need to say, screw it, I'm gonna get up and do it. Because sometimes you gotta tell yourself every day. Now as to what I think caused that, it was because about a day and a half ago, I had a couple of handfuls of walnuts. I don't know what I was thinking. I swear there's another voice in my brain that tells me to do things when I'm not paying attention. But I was talking to somebody in the RV and I saw the raw walnuts sitting there and I just started eating some. I think there was something in my voice that was telling me I needed some roughage. But it turns out when I get roughage, it really causes a problem with where my surgery was. And I think that has been a big part of my problem all this time because it hurts that area. If anybody knows about having a 
a hernia repaired and mesh implants and things like that who has any doctor experience or surgical experience, I would love to hear from you about this because I have been led in circles by my doctors trying to look into this. I don't know what's going on in there, but whatever it is, this diet has sure made it a lot easier because I'm not able, I'm able to get through my day without having any problems with those things if I'm not eating uh, rough plant food or things with lectins in them or even spices, all these things were affecting me. So, but I was surprised when the walnuts did that. I know I had done some walnuts a long time ago. I talked about it over the, just before the summer, but that had more to do with what I was dealing with with the prostatitis issue. And I thought it was helping, and it did kind of help at that moment because I was having a hard time. It, in the long run, I realized it wasn't helping because it was causing me to have some pains. But I can tell you, this diet makes all the difference. And it's the thing that has catapulted me into this new way of thinking, and I want you to be there too. So keep coming with me, and we'll talk about this as we keep on going and getting that health that we really need. Getting the healthy life and body that you always wanted. I know I'm getting the one I always wanted. It feels so good to have this vest on. It feels like it's hugging the, the hard parts of my body, not the not 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 wrapped on me like a blanket. And it, my body feels like it's different underneath there. It feels solid. Oh, it's such a good feeling. And you can have that. I didn't think I could ever have that again. But I got it. You can get it. I'll see you next time. If we pay extra, could we maybe get some grease or fat? never thought that was the way they took this stuff off of here but I had no how I, I had no idea how they were gonna get it off. Huh. 